Hi friends, I'm Laura. And I'm Troy. And we're Baker Drinks. We are doing the fourth and final blind of this Buffalo Trace, uh, what we own. These are all the high proof hitters. This one's going to be hard. It's got George T. Stagg, Thomas H. Handy, uh, H. Taylor. H. Taylor Barrel Proof. We've got a Stag or Stag Junior, whatever you want to call it, and the Weller Full Proof. Just so we have a nice collection of high proof <laughs> whiskey here, we are going to do what we did on the other three videos, and that'll be just kind of go through them, give little notes at the beginning of what each one kind of gave us an initial reaction to. Then we'll AB them all, get an order, and uh, tell you what we think of them uh, based completely on flavor, nothing to do with the uh, hype of which bottles which, or price or availability. I mean, none of these are available, really. Easily available. Um, price is decent on all of them as well. So I guess that stuff doesn't matter as much, but it's all on flavor. Yeah, so just like the previous videos, not trying to guess what the bottles are, um, just simply taste through, A, B, compare, line them up one through five, and reveal what they are. And I can smell these from here. <laughs> it smells awesome. Oh, high proof whiskey. Or in for a real treat. <laughs> a little nervous though. We didn't have any kind of warm up pour or anything. We're yeah. just going straight in with barrel proof whiskey. <laughs> oh, God, it smells so good. These are like my favorite smelling and tasting high proof whiskeys as well. I just, I just enjoy Buffalo Trace products. Fan girl. I am a fan girl. <laughs> wow. That makes me speechless. Um, for it being high proof, which these all are, high proof to crazy high proof. Um, <laughs> I took a little sip but it was overwhelming how like oily it was. It just coated my whole mouth. It's warm, uh, but it, it's not, it doesn't give that burning that you still, should expect. Still finishing. Oh yeah. Not this, that tiny little sip. It's, I, I'm just trying to just barely taste it so that I can try yeah. to not get trashed and actually be able to rank these. Feeling it down about here. Mm. So I think, good. I think I can go to the next one, but wow, this is going to be rough. <laughs> or fun. Or, well, and fun. You skipping it's, this one. Oh, you moved that one. <laughs> I put it out. It's in the Yeah, <laughs> I already don't know what I'm doing. She's already drunk. Honestly, they smell very similar. I don't feel like they taste as similar. I like this one. I don't like it as much as the first one. You didn't feel that way? <laughs> it's so good. Oh, I'm not saying it's not so good. I'm just saying it didn't, it didn't do what the first one did for me. Well, it did it for me. <laughs> Well, it had a little funk to it as well. Yeah, I have, I have a feeling. <laughs> <laughs> but I could be completely wrong and I probably am. <laughs> probably, I've been wrong on all of these blinds as it is. <laughs> oh, I like that one. I like that one a lot. Mm -hmm. Spicy. Also got some funk on it, but a different kind of funk. <laughs> I'd put it in the middle. Yeah, I think that guy's gonna go right there. This may be easier than we thought. 
but I'm guessing once we actually go back through an ABM, it'll change the order. The order changes every time. It usually <laughs> does. You know, we'll start off with one in the up here in the lead and taste something better and like just kick it on down the line usually. See, I can get my nose in this one a little, a little better. Yeah, it came across as lower proof. I'm definitely not getting like singed nose hairs. I feel like it came across as lower proof on the palate too, which is confusing to me because there's nothing, there's nothing low proof. But I would put that about right That's there. That's where I put it too. My tongue is tingly though. I gotta wait a second. <laughs> I mean, normally we pour one of these and it's a good half hour, 45 minutes for that one and a half ounces. Honestly, I don't know that you even usually pour me this big of a glass. <laughs> We're sharing. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, this is, this is uh, a hefty pour, but we're not like but it's for It's drinking. for science. It's for science. We're, we're sacrificing for you. Somewhere down here. I would put it about right there. So we're we starting with the hitters first or the less but um, still hitters? We can start either way, but we'll do two, you know, and then work our way through just like we usually do. I'm a little nervous with how easy the first pass was through on these. Um, well, there's a lot less palate fatigue with only five versus, you know, seven or nine. Yeah. But. But I felt like it was like an easy order on the first pass. Maybe we just drank them in the right order. <laughs> and then we'll bring you back in real time when we're done. Cheers to me. <laughs> Okay, we're back, and uh, with science, this was a fun blind. Oh my lord. <laughs> <laughs> it's also gonna be a fun night now. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get party started. <laughs> well, and when we get to finish the rest of these. Ooh, who gets this one? Well, they're on my side of the table. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, let's start with the bottom one. Again, these are like the top of the top line of the Buffalo Trace there, that we own. There was not a bad <laughs> pour here. These were all hitters. Extremely fortunate to have them all. Um, we'll just see what got last place. Fifth place is E.H. Taylor Barrel Proof. Oh, that I hurts. mean, it does it hurt? Because if that came in first, wouldn't that hurt a little bit more? <laughs> this was our first lottery win. Yes. It, it has a special spot in my heart. It, it's so good, though. It is very good. It just didn't hold its own against these other bottles. This is a tough lineup. Well, they're foolproof. Wow. <laughs> so, so this is a little strange to us because we thought that, you know, you kind of get notes from certain bottles and wheat a lot of times has a a funkiness to it that we thought this glass had. So we assumed that was the Weller. Wow. And it is not, obviously. I, so. I'm shocked. I am shocked. <laughs> okay, so then second and third place, it was kind of a toss up. I think it depends on my mood more than anything. Like, I absolutely love both the bottles in second and third place. First place stood out against them, but second and third, one's a rye, one's a bourbon. It's, it's obvious. I mean, a rye stands out in a lineup like this, but um, I love them both. We're just gonna see what I put as third place, but again, it's tied for second place. It's the George T. Stig. Uh, uh. <laughs> Welcome to Blind. Oh no. We have Baker Drinks. We put awesome bottles That's low, apparently. 2022 George T. Stag. This, so this was absolutely amazing. It had a funkiness to it, which is what we equated to I, it I being. I swore um, that was a weeder. A weeder, <laughs> but it also. So, you know, there's just notes that people always talk about when they're tasting, and some of them I've experienced, and some of them I haven't. But somehow, in this blind today, for the first time, I got that grape candy flavor, and it was on this, this bottle, so I was really excited about that. Maybe that's why I wanted to move it to second place, but it's third place in this lineup, still not bad. I'm reeling. I, I mean, <laughs> we we probably, paid the most for this bottle out of the whole lineup of this, so it's a little disappointing that it's not in first place, but you know, that's how blinds go. Not surprised, Thomas, Thomas H. Handy, uh, we picked that one out. That one was obvious, it was a rye. And it's a fantastic <laughs> rye. A fantastic rye. Uh, so a B-Tech beating a B-Tech, no big deal. The big deal here, though, is that the stag, which batch is this? That's 22B, so batch 19. And it uh, is, wow, it is so on, Honestly, I felt it was head and shoulders above these. Yeah. I mean, we went back and forth on these last three a few times, and we did it against this one, we did it against that one. And each and it, time, this one was better than all three, and then we just had the toss-up of second and third. And I paid the least amount for this guy. Yeah. So. Wow. I am shocked. So, I guess... Uh, We're getting canceled. <laughs> a stag can beat a George T. stag, because it did today. It, it did, <laughs> and I stand by it. It did soundly. Yep. If you've got these two bottles at home, blind them. Crazy. Anyway, thanks for watching. Cheers. Cheers. Have a great day. <laughs>